Alright, so today we're rebuilding a Rissy Racing Genesis dampener. First thing you're going to want to do is release pressure on the shock. Place it in your vise, body, eyelet, down. Use either a large crescent wrench or a Rissy Racing bearing tool to unscrew the bearing. If your seals are bad, you will have to watch out. Sometimes the air bleeds from the shaft down into the body and it will be pressurized down here. Unscrew your shaft from the body. Using 10 millimeter socket, take your Schrader valve off. Slide your bearing up towards the eyelet using Rissy Racing shaft clamps. Place the shaft back in the vise. All right, using a Standard crescent wrench, twist your eyelet off of the shaft. Take the shaft out of the vise, remove the shaft clamps, slide your bearing back down the shaft using a Rissy Racing blow body, screw it onto the bearing, using an air hose, blow the internal floating piston out of the body, out of the shaft, remove the blow body, slide the shaft off the bearing, and you're ready to start replacing seals. Using a dished screwdriver, slowly and carefully remove seals. Placing the seals is simple, it's just putting them back in Grooves. Move the seal from the piston on the shaft. Place your seals carefully. It's easiest to cherry place your quad seal first, and then your wiper. Then you replace the eyelet seal. And the seal on your Schrader valve. to start reassembling your shock. And using a wrist erasing bullet tool, screw it onto the shaft.
light coating of grease on the inside of your bearing. Slides easily over the bullet tool. coat of grease on the inside of the shaft below the threads and on your internal floating piston. Gently push it down over the threads, slide your bearing back up your shaft, use the shaft clamps once again, and the vise, use a small amount of blue Loctite on your eyelet. Tighten this crescent wrench. Remove from the device. Reinstall your Schrader valve. At this point, you should pressurize your shaft to about 50 psi so that when you reinstall it, it has proper balance of air to oil. Now place your body back in the vise. This is where you would usually add five weight oil to the bottom of the threads inside the body. Reinstall your shaft assembly. Using the crescent wrench, realign eyelet. At this point, you would usually pressurize it to your body weight, plus or minus 5 or 10 pounds of pressure, uh, with a maximum pressure of around 300 psi. 